Welcome everybody, my name is Bjorn Barrent, and today I'm going to be talking about navigating Flipgrid as a student. Uh, so I just went straight up to the Flipgrid website and this is what you get. Uh, as a teacher in a previous video in the navigating as an educator, we created a quick tutorial um, Flipgrid and I have the flip code to enter in. Uh, if you remember from that video, or if a student can either enter the code in directly or they can click a URL that a teacher has posted to like Google Classroom. So I'm just going to put it in H I O five O Y. So that's the uh, Flipgrid code. Um, logging in is me <laughs> to my own Flipgrid. So, but normally this would be logging in as the student. So there's a little Flipgrid, there's a tutorial. And under here, I have two topics. So what we can do as a student, um, basically you have the topics that you wanna comment on. So here's some introduction ones. And they're gonna click the little green button and it'll open up a window, hello, um, showing the little Flipgrid. From here, uh, they can see up in the top right how long they have to record. Uh, this one's set to a minute 30 uh, for an introduction. It's probably a little bit long, but that's going to be up to you. Uh, if you click the little button up top right here, it actually gives, shows the reshows the card so that a student can quickly reference what they are supposed to be commenting on again. Um, a sticky will add a little sticky note to the side, uh, which can be just a point of reference. And under options, uh, you have a choice between doing widescreen or a perfect square, turn on the audio, or you can import, this is where you'd import a video. If you, let's say you created it in um, Wii Video or another um, editor. So I'm gonna hit record. <laughs> and so while I'm recording, uh, it should be very quick. And this is my introduction. Hello, my name is Bjorn Barrett. And I'm the IT, actually not the IT coordinator, I'm the integration coach for Fairhaven Union High School um, and the author of Ed Listen. So I'm gonna hit pause. And it looks like I could start recording again to rec uh, continue if I wanted just to pause, but instead I'm gonna hit next. And so while I'm recording, uh, it should be very quick. And this, and as you can see, it will play it through. I can use the trim buttons if I wanna trim it up. Um, I can add more time to it. I can give it a title. So let's say, and I can even attach a file. Um, attach a URL link. So I can either do the school's website or maybe my edlisten.com web um, link. Both are there. Did link. So when I'm done, I'm going to click next again. Uh, oh, it, does, it allows me to download the video too. So I'm going to click next. This is cool. This selfie, it allows you to take a quick selfie so they can see even in context so of what the video is about. So maybe it's a piece of artwork. So they're going to hold up the piece of artwork. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> type of thing. And uh, once they're done, they can take the selfie. And this is fun. So, I mean, you can do things like, uh, let's see, let's give me some popcorn right here. Let's give me some popcorn. Who knows what it's about, but there you go. Just, well, maybe I'm eating it. Ah, I used to work in a movie theater. That's crazy. Okay, so let's get that back popcorn over there. And then I'm going to hit next. It processes the video. Hit complete. And you'll see me listed out there. And you'll see, the students will see other ones. If, if the grid is set up so that students can comment on other grids, uh, I do believe you'll see other ones there. If I go back to the tutorial, um, eventually you'll see a little thumbnail of the selfie right here. Uh, here's one I created a little while ago. So again, as a student, I can go in. Here's one I created. Uh, maybe it's another one that the students created. If they go in there as a student, they'll be able to see it. My upcoming weekend, um, actually. And what's really cool about this is they can not only see mine, but they can hit the reply. 
and add a reply to a student. Again, this is some some of these settings can be uh, controlled in the um, settings here. So that sounds like a very fun weekend. Can't wait to hear about it. How about that? Okay, pause. There. That sounds like a very fun weekend. Can't wait to hear about it. How it went. Okay, hold on. Oh, let's see. Let's see. That sounds like a very, very fun weekend. Boom. That. <laughs> so I was even able to use the trim. So. <laughs> Here, let's do the thumb up one. That. Next. So there My you go. Now upcoming. So now you even see comments on these. So again, that is using Flipgrid from a student's perspective. I uh, encourage you to check it out. And uh, thank you very much and never stop learning.